At this time, I'd like to recognize Ms. Shedden during our moment of silence, and we'll take that now. <laughs> everyone could bow their heads please and we will uh, remember our loved employee Alita Gladson who unexpectedly passed away. Um, Alita was loved by everyone. She had been in the transportation department for 30 plus years and wore a lot of hats. She was a, not only a bus driver but our assistant transportation director along with so many other roles that she that she played for us. Because of her dedication and commitment, two children are still living today. Uh, she made sure they were she made sure they were buckled in and because of her uh, those two children are still alive. So we would like to remember her for a moment uh, for her service to our County. Thank you. Thank you. Move to see. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow board members, student representatives. Everyone sitting in here tonight, and if Mr. Bobo has this broadcasting, I'd like to say a few words about what our system's just gone through and what a family and what a family has gone through. I had an opportunity to partic participate in something I've never seen done before. A lot of people have never seen anything. What took place in the honor of one person. And I was very, very fortunate to be able to witness the compassion from the from across the great state of Tennessee for one person. I pulled on the Cherokee High School's parking lot and I seen those buses. And I thought, thought to myself, how fortunate am I? to be able to witness this and understand why it is happening. Since I've been on this Board of Education, I've learned a lot through reading, research, and so forth. But the most important thing that I could learn as a person happened to me when I pulled into that parking lot because of one person. You know, I've heard the adage, one person can make a difference or one person don't make a difference. Whichever side of the table that you're on, well, I'm on the side of the table that one person can't make a di difference. Now, where I'm going with this is family. I mentioned family at the beginning of me coming to this podium, and I felt out of respect for this person's family. I didn't want to sit behind there because I want my, my words to be heard. And I hope I don't offend anyone in some of these words. And I hope I can touch some folks with these words. Family's a big word if you believe in it. Family is the word you can't live without. Family is also a word that makes you mad as I'll get out. That's what family is. It's give and take. And now I'm going to say the name. Alita. I got to know Alita. 
And she was a very, very special person. So now we know who we're talking about. We've said the name. We know the family is suffering. And I'm not talking about the immediate family. I'm talking about the family of Hawkins County Schools. And that includes the students Alita touched during her 30-year career, the employees that have come and gone in Alita's 30-year career, the parents that Alita touched in her 30-year career. That's something special. That's very special because it's family. Family within Hawkins County Schools and across the state now because her brothers and sisters that's involved in transportation honored her by coming all the way up from Nashville. 120 buses. That's a lot of buses, folks. And the people volunteered their time for someone named Alita that works for Hawkins County Schools in East Tennessee. Now talk about respect for one person to get that kind of respect. But you know why she got it? You know why she got that respect? She lived her life that way. She gave the respect to others. She gave the respect to others. She deserved to get that respect back. You live your life the best you can possibly live your life. And it pays off in the end, does it not? We don't live for today, we live for tomorrow. That's, that's what my mother always told me. And the older I get, the more I see of it. But when I got on that bus, Debbie and I had an opportunity to get on the family bus and speak with the, the immediate family and her husband. Yeah, we, well, we all did. Yeah, Jackie went on before us, and Debbie and I went on again. I, I'm sorry about that. But seeing that family and for such a, a, a tragedy to take place, and for such a person as a leader, the goodness that she had in her heart, and the goodness she spread around her co-workers, and the goodness she spread around the students, I could go on and on saying that word goodness because that's what it was. I've talked to a lot of people. I've talked to her myself. For 30 years, 30 years, you don't make it 30 years and keep a smile on your face unless you're full of goodness. We can't take that away. That don't go away because it's natural. It's in your heart. And that's what Alita had. But it was a difficult situation talking with that family, but you know they had compassion. They had compassion for each other. They, they, they'll never understand why that has to happen. It's not us. It's not our job to ask why. We want to. But there was a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Now I'm going to move along. Because I feel like Alita deserves the respect that she deserves. And she's gotten it. And going to continue to get it. And I'm going to end with this. I think we all need to have what I'm calling an Alita Day. You're going, what in the world is he talking about? An Alita Day. Well, and that day, that day when I define this, you'll understand. And that day could be seven days a week, that could be one day a week, that could be any day you choose, and it's going to be an Alita Day. And that Alita Day is let's think about Alita and how she lived her life and the people she touched and let's see if we can have that goodness in us on that Alita day. You're having a bad day, right? You're frustrated. Things ain't going right. Let's think about having an Alita day. All right? I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to pass it on. I'm going to pass it on. The goodness of such an employee that loved, and I think I can use that word, that loved doing what she did. I think she's in a good place. I think she was very well received. So think about that Alita day. 
I want to thank you for allowing me to say these words. Thank you.